welcome back to Southwick Lanes. Our JV gold versus silver all-star battle will take the two high average bowlers from the gold and silver division. Start out with the gold high average bowler. This is Parker Welsh, 192 average. Another bowler for Toledo Technology Academy Tigers. And another junior high bowler. Grader starts with the strike. Further right than I saw him earlier. I'm wondering if somebody was able to get through to him because he was too much in the oil earlier. And watch this ball. This, that young man with that backswing just amazes me. Well, you keep waiting for body parts to fall off, but they don't. That brings up Ethan Pfeiffer, 155 average. The Southview bowler will be getting 37 pins from Parker Welsh. Well, out to the right Ooh. side. Yeah, outside. It just hung there. Now, we saw him bowling in the semifinals earlier, and he was playing that outside line and was able to get it back, but it's a fine line when you start getting that far out. Yeah, and that one looks like it may have come off his hand a little early, so it didn't have the lift. Plus, he could have a little bit of nerves going first time in front of the cameras. Yeah, it could be. We're an easy audience to play for, though. Got to get used to the new format. Better shot here. There you go. And oh, shot. I thought he was going to take care of that. Good shot there. Good comeback shot. If you're going to have an open, let's have it in the first frame and go from there. Get the first couple frames under his belt and settle in. Ethan. Like Go ahead. I was going to say, Ethan's a sophomore at Southview, started bowling at age 13. I don't like to say that Parker's got an advantage, but his brother Connor has bowled with the varsity, so yep. he's been around the format even though he hasn't actually participated. He's used to seeing it. Left hand lane for Ethan Pfeiffer. And that one hung on him also. That's the washout, 1 2 4 10. Might as well just slide it over. Go to Brooklyn. 225 high game all time for Ethan. 548 high series. Let's see if we can give him something to get excited about here. Way outside. Oh, Oops, that, that one didn't one. find its way back. He'll make the adjustment and go from there. You're peeking into your archives over there. Yeah, I was looking for something and I couldn't find it. So. Welcome to my world. Parker Welsh will head to the right-hand lane for his first adventure over there. Said Parker, a seventh grader at TTA, started bowling at age two. Way right. Turns it hard. Wow. A lot of movement right there for Parker Welsh. My shoulder's getting sore watching <laughs> this one. 279 high game for Parker, 701 high series. We've seen his brother Connor, who is a two hander. Did you see these two on the same team with all those revs burning up the lane? <laughs> I would hate to be the guy to have to redress them, meaning the lanes, right. afterwards. So much power. Such a slight build. Right, backswing, plant, and rev it up. Parker with mm -hmm. the turkey to start. Nice start for Parker Welsh. See if Ethan Piper can get it towards the pocket here. He's been a little far on the outside side. Time to make the adjustment here. Straighten it up a little bit like that. Turns it there hard, there gets the strike. There you go. That's the adjustment we were looking for. Ethan, a member of the band, enjoys drawing, learning different languages, playing video games. All right, without looking, what, what instrument does he play? Oh. <laughs> 
I'm going to go with something common, clarinet. <laughs> no, he plays the trumpet. Trumpet. Oh. You were in the woodwind uh, no, area, and he's in the brass. I figured there wouldn't be two <laughs> tuba players in a row here. <laughs> <No>. so. <laughs> a little more conventional, I guess, the trumpet. I guess I could have gone bassoon or something like that. But he doesn't, doesn't look like an oboe player, so... Ball return, or we may be waiting for the bowling ball of Ethan Pfeiffer to be returned. Yeah, that's usually the key component to the game. So yeah. down there somewhere, all we got to do is find it. Mm -hmm. Ethan's plans are to go to college and then move to Japan and design video games. Hmm. Must feel that they're better suited for it over <laughs> there than here. I guess so. Well, I I'm guessing that's where a majority of the video games come from. Is best I can figure. Ethan says, "You know what? I just got done throwing a strike after struggling with the first two frames, and then you send the ice bucket out after yeah, me, freezing me here." Back to the left-hand lane. See if he can make the adjustment over here as well. Sends that one way outside. Brings go. it home again. Nice work as he comes back with the double in frame three and four. Got those first two frames out of the way. Settled in. Let's get a strike-a-thon going here. Parker Welsh. Also enjoys baseball and fishing. Caught a 56 inch flathead catfish and a 36 inch pike. That's a pretty big fish of any type. Harry. And he starts with the front four, does Parker Welsh. Putting on a show for the cameras. you're looking at his bio, but I don't know if you saw this. Do you know who his favorite professional bowler is? I'm guessing Belmonte. No, take another look at him. Kyle Troop. There you go. He has a Get the hair going of, of yeah. a resemblance yeah. to Kyle Troop. Get the hair out there a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's working on it. He's only in seventh grade. Get a little bigger... Got to get the pants and the uh, shirt going, too. Yep, that may come with age. There you go. How about starting with the front five? Thank you very much. But he's a little limited with the shirt having to wear the school colors. <laughs> well, you do have to make some concessions somewhere. And speaking of Kyle, just won yesterday in Jones, uh, Jonesboro, Kentucky, or somewhere. Won a <laughs> professional event. So Jonesboro, Kentucky, or somewhere? I can't remember. I'm not even <laughs> sure where Jonesboro is, but I know he won the Jonesboro Open, so. The king of Jonesboro for a day. Whichever one it is. Ethan Pfeiffer. Got a He's double got a working. How about a turkey right here? Great looking shot again. Nice adjustment by Ethan Pfeiffer. Nice straight follow through. End over end roll. Ten back. Another tall player. Starts with a little bit of a crouch. Stays with it all the way through. Uses his long arms for leverage. Good basic game. Just needs to be a good listener and continue working. Another nice shot. Don't look too hard. Yeah, got up just a little high, but he's got a makeable spare again. And hope for is he's going to go cross alley at the 610. Cross alley, staying with the same ball. Nice long reach, hang on ball. There we he go. Did. Nice job on the spare. Meanwhile, all Parker Welsh has done is started with the front five. Thank you. number 
six and straight six. Get up. Get out of there. Come on. Oh, fall over, <laughs> fall over. Oh, nice run. Almost had the 5 10 up, but the 10 pin. Take a look at this. Pin came Whoa. off the wall, got the oh. 5, wobbled the 10. Oh, man. It moved it yeah. and it leaned it. Wow. Hang on. And he just did enough. just enough. Nice start for Parker Welsh. Front five. Left the 10 pin. Almost knocked that 10 pin over. I don't know if the 10 pin can be, be, be any closer to falling no. over than that one. He's gotten the help off the wall, just not quite enough. Looking to hop back on the strike train here. It's a little bit light. Judging by the sound of that ball hitting the lane, it may have dropped it a little bit. It didn't make the turn like the other shots had. Two, four, five, we've seen a few times. Ball change for the spare. Turn ball. And, ooh, get a couple of them. Well, so this is where if you're Parker Welsh, you go sit down and just kind of clear your head for a second. Mm -hmm. You had a good run. Want to get back on it. And if you're Ethan Piper, you say, hey, I had a turkey. I need another one. The door is open here. I can get right back into this bad boy. Nice shot if it gets up. And it's skated. Yeah, that one got over the top of it a little bit it looked like just didn't yeah. get that good end over end roll a little too much spin and it kept going with the spare he's right there on this match one, four, one two hang on ball don't turn it Looked like it was going to at first, but it didn't. Talk about some improvement. Ethan Piper started the season in the 120s average-wise and ended up at 155. That's a pretty nice improvement yeah. in a season. Looking for a strike here, and with his handicap, he goes from being way down at the start to a slightly... Strike here puts him in a two pin lead. Get up. Came right up on the head pin. Leaves the 6 10 again. With the cover, it's even. That's all you can hope for. You want to get it to the 10th with a chance. And at least right now, he's back in it. been easy to be discouraged after the first couple of three frames. There's the spare for Ethan Piper. In the way Parker Welsh started out, he Ethan started with a couple of opens, but he came back in great stead with the turkey after those two opens and put himself back in the game. And he stayed clean with the spare shooting since then, so. This is where Parker has to kind of regroup a little bit. Don't necessarily have to make any changes, but just realize that you're not necessarily going to get a strike every time up. Good little shot again, and he go. did. Nice work for Parker Welsh. school is going to be proud in the hallways on Monday is 
Toledo Technology Academy in those doors. And there's another strike for Parker Welsh. It's the roar of the Tiger at a couple of championships. In the gold and silver division. So Ethan Pfeiffer will look for a strike here to set up the tenth as he comes up in the ninth. Looking to match those two strikes that Parker Welch just put on the board. Well, right down the middle will carry. And there we did. go. That was another one of those student body left. Everybody just kind of leaned into it. So far today, we haven't seen the seven pin fall on that shot, though. So no. it was nice to see it finally get tired and fall over. Good setup for the tenth for Ethan Pfeiffer. 208 stretch possibility. Go 245 with his 37 pins. He's getting from Parker Welsh. And that would force Parker to throw a double, but let's see if he's able to do it here. Nice shot. And oh, oh he my brings a 10 pin. There's your injustice for you. What a nice looking shot for Ethan Pfeiffer. Matter of fact, I marked down a strike on my score sheet. It was so nice. Yeah, that, I thought he <laughs> had that one all the way. Very impressive performance here from coming back from those two open frames. Cross alley at so the 10 pin. It. Yep, got it just right. inside the target. So 213 by my count with his 37 pins. See how Parker's going to finish this one up. Needs a mark. Uh, he started. My, my math is right. Started with the front five. Oh no, I'm sorry. Just go. Just keep it on the lane. Keep it on the lane and behind the foul line. Sour Apple, he ends up with a very makeable five pin spare right here. Wow. Well, the pin count would have been nice even with the Sour Apple, but you just don't want to see one of those. See the ball fly around the five, the four got the seven, and the six got the ten, and he says thank you very much. Wow. Yeah. What a nice looking shot that almost signal disaster but and the ball ball spinning around in the back again it'll just be a second here saw the same thing happen with Ethan Pfeiffer ball got stuck back there right after he got his first strike kind of gave him the cool down mode trying to do the same thing here to Parker Welsh they need to outlaw those timeouts called when the <laughs> guy's getting ready. <laughs> oh. Well, I can just go grab an alley ball there, Parker. Not no really. problem. Here we well, go. he probably has another ball there because <laughs> most of the kids today are carrying six or eight of them. So. If you can take care of a five pin right here. And you will. Yep. Well, that should put him in the 230s. Nice work by Parker Welsh to finish things off here in our gold versus silver all star extravaganza today. Great seeing some of the players we're going to see in future seasons. Some of them next season. A lot of talent coming up. Yes, and that one's going to be just a little bit light. But he's going to shoot 232 after getting off to the first five strikes for Parker Welsh. A good day for the gold level bowlers as they take four out of the five matches. But. Uh, Good news was, Don Janello, that they were all close matches, even with the handicap figured in there. All close matches, these young players not being on television before did a great job. 
like what we saw from them as we have said from the outset the future is bright uh, looking at the bowlers today first game it was Caitlin Berenger with the victory with a 169 game two Chloe Hutton 203 with the win and then it was Scott Milan getting the win for the silver bowlers in game number four with a 184 Karsten Mays with a 162 win and then Parker Welsh finished things off with the nice 232 great way to finish off the day next week of course we'll have our championship roll off for the varsity bowlers today's Toledo Metro League High School Bowling brought to you in high definition only on BCSN seen exclusively on Buckeye Broadband for the hardworking BCSN crew for Don Janello I'm Steve Bronkowitz thanks for being with us and make sure you take your family bowling